Hello and welcome back to another Daisy King Skyline YouTube tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at reskinning some tools. So you will need Daisy tools, you will need your P drive mounted, and your game data extracted. Let's get rid of my messages there. Let's go and open our P drive now. Let's go and create a folder called YouTube tools you can call yours whatever you want your mod to be called in here we will make a data folder and we'll go and copy one of these first configs from my other mod this all these files will be available for download don't worry so now let's go and find our tools so inside our p drive we will look for dz weapons melee blade okay let's copy this config and let's just paste it there for a minute let's go and open our youtube tools and inside the data folder let's paste that config we've just copied delete that off the desktop now so config still in the blade folder and we have the config as well inside our youtube tools data folder let's open up the config in our data folder now and let's delete from this class upwards if you don't have this don't worry this will just depend on the way you've extracted your game data so this class dz weapons melee blade let's copy that and let's put that in here like this. So now this says DZ Weapons Melee and DZ Weapons Melee Blade. Change this first one to YouTube Tools Data. This will be whatever you want to call it. Make sure it is different from the first one. We will go over that in a minute. Okay, now, so we need to look for our tools that we're going to be using. So I want the hatchet and the firefighter axe, conveniently enough together. So from this class at the hatchet, we will delete this upwards to the inventory base here. So it should just say hatchet class like this with the inventory base there. Let's go down and firefighter axe here. Let's go down and we've already got some reskins for the firefighter act. So we'll go underneath those and we'll delete everything down. To here. So that still has its closing there and we'll delete this CFG non AI vehicles right here. Perfect. Now we have a simple basis for our reskin. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create the inheritance classes now. So if we copy this inventory base here and paste it again, like so, we can stick the hatchet in one. We can stick the firefighter axe in the other. So this is a way we can make two in one. You don't have to make two, you can just make one. You would just obviously have the one here, so just the hatchet and the hatchet, and you can remove the firefighter axe. So, things that we may or may not want to change, things that we will remove and may not remove. So if you want the description to stay the same, you can remove the description or you can change the description. Make sure you take out the whole things in between these two closers. So we want our description to say the same. We don't need this model line or the debug or build or dismantle action type or repairable with kits. Actually, we'll keep the repairable with kits. Uh, we'll take out repair costs and rotation flags. We'll take out inventory slot. We'll take out loot category. We'll take out loot tag. We'll take out item info. And we'll take out melee modes. 
down to here so we still have closing you can check that by doing this so let's do the same for this um make sure we keep item size weight models and we can remove the thing here also get rid of these right as we can see with the hatchet one thing we're missing is the hidden selections and the hidden selections textures so the firefighter act would be really simple to retexture because we could just put our new texture here and it will work but with the hatchet, we can't just put the hidden selections textures. We need to find out what the hidden selection is. So with this, we would use a tool, more than likely, Makiro's Eliteness, which is this. It's best just to use the AOO installer, as a lot of his stuff is really helpful when it comes to Daisy modding, especially when it comes to PBO project and dpvo tools so let's open up the blade folder that we was in earlier let's open the hatchet with eliteness let's click the hatchet p3d so as we can see the hatchet has a selections class as a cby tech the hidden selection textures for the firefighter axe is camo though Okay, so we'll remember this. Let's copy this line and let's put this inside the hatchet. Let's copy the words, ZBYTech. And let's place that here. So we, the hidden selections for the hatchet is ZBYTech. The hidden selections for the firefighter axe is camo. We can go and check this by going back, going to the firefighter axe, and it has ZBYTech and camo. Either one of these should work because there's two. These are the only two that you should be looking for. Most of the time, it's just this one. Okay. So we can't actually see the hatchet's um, texture like we can with the firefire axe. So another way we can find this, we can look inside here. Yes, we can look for hatchet. But again, if we're using Makiro's Eliteness, what we can do is we can click on that hatchet. We can click on one of the LODs. Best to use LOD 0.0, .0 or 1.0. And we look at we can look here and we can see that the texture location is DZ Weapons Melee Blade Data Hatchet underscore CO dot PAA with the selection of ZBY Tech. So this is the texture that we're going to be looking for, and this is the texture selection that we're going to be using. So let's go and copy these two now. One for the firefighter of axe, which is FF axe. So let's copy hatchet underscore PO into there. And let's copy FF axe underscore CO into there too. Now we shouldn't need this folder now. We can use text view to convert these PAAs to PNGs. File. PNG. Do the same for the FFX. PNG. Perfect. So now we can open these in our favorite photo editing programs. Mine just so happens to be Photoshop. While we're waiting for Photoshop to open, what we can do here is we can copy our line for our config. So the way I do this is I click my address bar at the top and inside my data folder where my textures are, I'll copy this up to the first part of our name there. And what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll paste that there like that. So now I can copy this, put this here. So now it says YouTube tools, data, and our texture name. Let's go and make our textures now. 
So, Firefighter Axe is normally yellow in this section. What I'll do is I'll grab my selection tool and I'll grab all the yellow pieces. And we can layer these via copy and go for a blending option. And I'm just going to lay this over with some pattern. Um, let's go hollow red Damascus. We can shift the angle, make it a bit bigger. And there we go. Let's go and do the same over here. So this is the part I want to edit. This piece, this piece, layer by copy, we can do the same. Blending options, pattern overlay. For this, we'll go with black and gold. Scale this down a little bit, move it around so you get the best look. There we go. Now we can save these as PNGs. Replace that, yes. Save this. PNG, yes. Just waiting for this last one to save. What we can do is we can go back to text view. And the one that has saved is the hatchet. We can go and convert that back to a PNG now, uh, PAA. And we can do the same for the Firefighters Act. And we will replace. We can delete our PNGs now. So now we can just check these. Yep. And yep. So what we'll do is we'll call these something else. So YouTube Fire Act. And this one can be YouTube Hatchet. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll copy the name of this hatchet here. I'll go over into the config. I'll paste that there. I'll do the same for the firefighter's axe. There we go. Now we have our textures linked to our axes. Now let's go and set our finish our config up. What we'll do is we'll copy this hatchet to our inventory base here. And we'll copy our firefighter axe to our inventory base here. We can now call this anything we want. So I'm going to call this YouTube underscore hatchet. And I will do the same for the firefighter axe. Just so I know the names. And I will do the same for the names as well. Doodly do. Boop. And we'll do description on this one as well. So, down to our configs. Item size is the current item size of the item inside the inventory. So the hatchet normally takes up around six slots. We can change that to take up um, two slots. And the firefighter axe is normally two by seven. We can make that two by four. Okay, the weight, we can adjust these a little bit and lower these down or up, depending on how your server wishes to be. Repairable with kits. This, I believe, is the um, wheat stone, wet stone, whatever you want to call it. You can put uh, a comma and a five for duct tape. You don't have to change these but i do like some things to have duct tape repairable and we can change our hit points so the item lasts longer 150 normally for the hatchet we'll go 250 250 normally for the firefighters act so let's make that 500. okay so now we should be able to save our config here We can get rid of this one. We can get rid of that. 
So now into our first config, the one that I copied over. What I'll do for this is I'll copy the YouTube tools folder name. So this would be your mod folder name. And you can change this here like this. This can be anything you want to call it. I'm just going to call mine YouTube tools. And we'll put YouTube tools here. Space, author, DH YouTube tools. Perfect. There we go. Let's pack this with add on builder. Let's also make a folder before we do that. So we will make a new folder in our P drive called app YouTube tools. And we'll make a folder inside this called add-ons. We'll make a folder inside this, or inside here as well called keys. And we will make a folder called XMLs. So XMLs, you'll post XMLs if this is a public mod. Keys, you'll post keys if this is, again, a public mod. And add-ons is where our PBO will go. So add on source directory will be YouTube tools, the first folder we made. This one just here. The destination directory will be this add ons folder that we just made here. So let's look for at YouTube tools, add ons, clear temp folder, binarize, all textures, enable extended login. Let's go to our options. You need to make sure this list of files to copy directly is exactly as I post. This will be in the description. If you don't do this, your item may appear white in game with no texture. Okay, so we'll hit okay and we'll click pack. We'll wait for this to finish. Build successful. YouTube Tools PBO there. Let's open this with Daisy and see if it worked. So we'll unload that. We'll load a local mod because we're still working from our P drive. We can load YouTube Tools, load mod, and we can go into offline mode. So now we just wait for offline mode to load. And we will come back. Right, so the game's just loaded. Now here we are back in Daisy. This is some stuff that I was working with before. So let's go into our spawnable and let's type YouTube. There's our hatchet. And there's our firefighter axe. Let's spawn these both in unruined as well. There we go. Our YouTube hatchet with its small size. And our firefighter axe. with its small size also. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this has been a helpful to you guys. Links will be in the description for the downloads. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Did you know that Devil's House Creations now has a Patreon page? We have two different membership levels. We have the Angel membership and the Devil membership. Both have access to the Devil's Island DayZ map when it comes out for alpha release. So if you haven't, come join us now.